Yo guys, what's up? So we have college football Saturday again, and like always, I got six free picks for you guys in this video. I'm hyped. I'm ready to get into it. Saturday and Sunday are finally here, so we have two full days of football. So make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for the free pick videos I post you guys every single day for college football and NFL. Not only are we doing this in college football this season, if you guys did not see last Sunday in the NFL, the free pick video went six for six so make sure to drop a like on the video and make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss any of those free pick videos but let's hop into the video so real quick before we get into those six plays for you guys i want to talk a little bit about vip because you guys can see what we've done so far in the college football season it has been amazing for us so far we're up over 45 units in vip this football season alone I, at the beginning of the year, made VIP completely free for you guys for an entire month. So all you would have to do to get in VIP for an entire month for completely free, go down to the links below, download Parlay Play right here, use code GHOSTLOCKS, all caps, no spaces right here. It's at the bottom of the screen as well, guys. Make sure that you actually deposit on the app with code GHOSTLOCKS. It just has to be at least $10 deposit and then drop a comment on this video saying, hey, I used your code. Hey, I signed up on the app. Just let me know so I can send you guys that link to the free month of VIP. You also get a $100 deposit match, guys. So you guys can walk away, take five minutes out of your day, download the app with code GHOSTLOCKS, get a free hundred bucks in a free month of VIP where I will be sending you guys screenshots every single day with all of my plays right here tell you exactly what plays to put in, tell you exactly how much money to put on those plays. And then you guys just cash out. And like I said, we're up 45 units so far in this season. So you guys can see what that means right here. This is all profit. I have people, I have $100 betters in the VIP that are up over $4,500 this football season. And I'm doing that for free for you guys just to help you guys out because that is why I made the channel in the first place. So just go down to the links below, download and sign up on the app, deposit on the app with code GhostLocks. Just make sure you actually use that code GhostLocks when you deposit and you have to actually deposit with the code. So many people just sign up and say, hey, I'm signed up on the app. Cool, that's great. But you guys actually have to deposit at least 10 bucks with that code to get the free month of VIP. Also, Parlay Play is a great app, by the way. It's probably my second favorite app right now to use for football. So it also is a really good app as well. But now let's hop into the play. So like I said, we have six plays for you guys. I'm hyped college football. Saturday has been great so far throughout the season. So hopefully we can keep it going again today. And like I said at the beginning, we swept on NFL Sunday. So I'm just waiting for our college football Saturday sweep to happen at some point this season. And hopefully it can happen in this video. So I have, like I said, six plays. I have three teams we're going to talk about and then two guys on each one of those teams. So we're going to be fully going in on correlated plays in this video. Correlated plays, if you guys don't know, that's basically taking a quarterback's over with their wide receiver one over. The idea there is that if, let's say, Cam Ward goes over his line of 326 passing yards, his number one receiver, Xavier Restrepo, most likely will go over 86 yards right there, vice versa. So that is a correlated play. Basically, we're taking two plays, but instead of only having to hit or instead of them being two random plays and you have to like pinpoint two plays, it's basically taking one play. We're basically taking the over on Miami's passing offense in this game. That's essentially what we're doing. Taking correlated plays for college specifically is the best way to go. It's kind of stupid to do anything else betting on college football that isn't somewhat of a correlated play. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Cam Ward and Restrepo is going to be our first duo that we're looking at here. So they are playing Louisville. I actually think this is going to be the best game of the day, at least to bet on player props wise. Obviously, you have other great games, Georgia, Texas, stuff like that. Those are better games, obviously. But for player props, what we do here, this is probably my favorite game of the day. Playing Louisville, Louisville has not had a great passing defense all year long. They gave up a ton of passing yards especially to wide receiver ones. They give up a lot of receiving yards as well. So I like the matchup a lot in this game. The over under right now is sitting at about like 60 and a half last time I checked. So that everybody's expecting this to be a high scoring game. I think this can easily turn into a shootout. It seems like most of Miami games so far this season have been shootouts. Virginia Tech, they did run the ball well, but they also passed the ball a lot too. That was a shootout. The Cal game that we all saw, college game day, that was an absolute shootout. Both teams 
passing the ball all the way down the field. So that was a shootout as well. So I expect this Louisville Miami game to be a shootout too, because not only is Miami really good at passing the ball, you guys can see Restrepo has hit three out of his last five games here. And then Cam Ward has hit, I believe, four games in a row now, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, he's hit four games in a row. So Cam Ward, obviously, uh, Heisman potential. He's been playing great all season long. So I really like that duo right there. One of my favorite college football duos easily. Now, going over to the second play, we are going to be taking the other side of the ball. We're taking Louisville here. Because if I think this is going to be a shootout, why in the hell would I not take Louisville's side also? The receiver is going to be Ja'Cory Brooks. And then the quarterback is going to be... Uh, uh, show, uh, yeah, show, I think is how you say it. I'm not even 100% sure. Uh, but that, we're going to be taking Tyler Show right there over 262 and a half. He's hit four out of his last five games. This last game, he missed by like 30 yards playing Virginia, but he's also been playing really well. This Louisville team loves to pass the football. So that is why I love this game to be a shootout. Both sides of the ball love to pass the ball. They should be scoring a lot. This is a massive game for the ACC. Louisville was ranked all season long until now. So this is a big ACC game. This is a massive game for both teams in this situation. Again, they both love passing the ball. Miami's passing defense is not great. They give up a ton of passing yards every game because they're normally winning and the other teams have to pass to catch up. So their passing defense hasn't been great all year. Louisville isn't great defense either, but they both are great at passing the ball. So I like this game a lot, guys. Like I really, really do like this game. If any game is going to be a shootout, I do think it's going to be this game. So that's why we're going to be taking all four players. And you guys can see Ja'Cory Brooks has hit four out of his five games as well. So he's been been playing great from the wide receiver position. So those are going to be the first four plays. Now, the third team I have for you guys to finish out this six man is going to be Quinn Ewers in Texas. So we're going to be looking at uh, Quinn Ewers, obviously taking his more on the passing yards. He's playing Georgia, as we all know. This should be a really good game. Hopefully it is a really good game. Now, Georgia's passing defense is obviously Great. They're top five in the country for a reason. They have a good defense. However, we all saw the Georgia-Bama game. Praying, hoping that this game is similar to that game, and it's just a total shootout, and every quarterback, every receiver has over 200, 400 yards. Hopefully, that's what we can get out of this game because Quinn Ewers, his last three games, were not great. He has not hit this line in his last three games. However, he played Michigan Blowout did not even really need to do anything in the second half. Same here, same here, right? So he really hasn't been in a game yet this season to where he actually had to play the full game and actually had to pass the full game. Quinn Ewers is one of the best quarterbacks in the entire country. So playing an entire game where he actually needs to pass the ball, needs to move the ball down the field in a big time game. I like that situation a lot right there, regardless of how good Georgia's defense is, because we saw how good Jalen Milrow in Alabama did in that exact same situation. So I'm hoping it's a game very similar to that in that aspect. And then the receiver we're going to be taking for Texas is going to be the tight end Helm. So I like Helm here. A lot of people might be taking Isaiah Bond as Quinn Ewers duo, which I don't hate either. That is their wide receiver one. However, in big time games, Gunnar Helm is the guy Quinn Ewers loves to throw the ball to. So obviously Quinn Ewers was out for a couple games here, but just looking at the games that he played with Quinn Ewers at quarterback, big game against Oklahoma. He had 91 yards, big game against Michigan. He had 98 yards. These other games, Quinn Ewers did not even play. So when Quinn Ewers is the quarterback in a big time game, Gunnar Helm loves to get all those targets. He loves throwing Gunner Helm the ball. So that is why I'm taking Helm instead of Bond. I do think Bond's a good play as well, obviously. And I think his line's pretty low. Yeah, they have Isaiah Bond at 50 yards. I think that's crazy. Um, he hit four out of these five games. Now this last game is a red flag against Oklahoma. He only had five yards. So a bit of a red flag there for Isaiah Bond. Um, just another reason why I don't want to take him. But if you are going to take him, I don't think it's a bad play because I do think 50 and a half is just way too low for Isaiah Bond. But this is going to be the six man now. Now, guys, massive warning, okay? These are just my three favorite duos to go with, like correlated duos to go with. So do not take this six-man. I do not recommend it. Obviously, we all know six-man, you have like a 1% chance to hit. It's not even worth taking. I did do this six-man because it is my Flex Friday play, so I put it in as my Flex Friday play. So I did six guys, but I don't recommend for you guys to do six guys. These are just my three favorite duos. Take them how you want to take them. If you want to break them up into four-mans, that's fine. But just obviously, if you're taking Cam Ward, take Restrepo. Like, take the duos together. So these are my three favorite duos. Use that information. Use these plays how you guys want to use them, but I don't recommend 
to do a six man. Other than that, guys, these are my plays. We'll go through them again. Texas duo, Louisville duo, and Miami duo. Make sure to drop a like on the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss any of the future videos, especially NFL Sunday video dropping tomorrow. Obviously, you don't want to miss that either. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Drop comments down below if you guys have any other plays that you like as well. Let myself and everybody else know down below. Um, and then last but not least, before we get out of here, remember, get the free month of VIP, guys. There's no reason not to. We're up over 45 units. You guys have seen what we've done in college football so far and NFL as well. So make sure you get in VIP for free. Again, code GhostLocks. You get a $100 deposit match and a free month of VIP. If you guys are already on Parlay Play, I got the same deal over here on Chalkboard and Sleeper for you guys. So I'm doing the best I can to give you guys as many options as possible to get in VIP for free. So this is the exact same situation. In case you already have Parlay Play, you can do the same deal with Chalkboard or Sleeper. Just download one of these apps, use the code you guys see on the screen. So it's code GHOST for these apps, not Ghost Locks, but code GHOST for these apps. Use code GHOST, deposit 10 bucks, drop a comment. I'll sign you a link to the free month of VIP. But other than that, guys, these are the plays for the games on Saturday. Good luck with all your bets, and I'll catch you in the next video.